Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Audio bandwidth for the weekly Daily Gizwiz is provided by the new Winamp for Android, featuring wireless sync and one-click iTunes import. Now with free daily music downloads and full-length CD listening parties. Download it for free at winamp.com slash android. Video bandwidth for the weekly Daily Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. It's time for the Weekly Daily Gizwiz with Matt's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1348, recorded January 7th, 2012. The Weekly Daily Gizwiz is brought to you by Netflix. Watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on your PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone, or TV instantly. All streamed directly to you, saving you time, money, and hassle. For your free 30-day trial, Go to netflix.com slash twit. And now, get ready for Dick. Ladies and gentlemen, do not attempt to adjust your set. It's just the same old cruddy weekly daily gizwiz. <laughs> Actually, even yeah. longer, but just as dumb. Hello, Dickie D. It's a new year, but the same old crap. <laughs> Happy New Year! Did you? Oh, uh, the same to you. Yeah. Did you have a, a good? I, last we talked, it was New Year's Eve, 2011. Yeah, just, tw- yeah. Yeah. I walked up to Central Park and watched the fireworks, you said and you that was, was yeah. the the whole event, right? <laughs> and you, you went to a party or something, Mm-mm. right? No, I stayed home. And I watched. Oh, you, that's right. To keep your eye on. I, it on was, my son was going to have the party. Oh, okay. So I just actually, I just, you know, my my strategy for that. Yeah. I just take over the couch, in the living room. I just lie there, in my in my underwear. And when the people come for the party, go, hey, how are you? And they usually that's pretty good. much leave right away. Yeah. yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I watched uh, Rockin' uh, the Rockin' New Year's Eve show. I you know, I don't think I've seen that in a decade. Hasn't changed. The only thing they change is the they just roll Dick Clock out. Boy. And put him in storage they, for they, a year. They had to roll him out, all right. Wow. Um but it was you know, it was I enjoyed watching it. I did enjoy watching oh, it. Oh yeah. And I, I love that he he does it because he probably you know, goes the whole year thinking, sure, well, that's his I'll thing. be famous again on New Year's Eve. So it's wonderful. I love Dick Clark. I grew up watching American Bandstand, and I, you know, I just have a soft spot in my heart. Everybody does. Sure. Yeah. You know, I found out something, though, that I was kind of a, I don't know, a uh, little bit of disillusioning. Yeah. So, the, you know, parts of it are obviously live. I mean, the part where they're in the Times Square and the ball drops, that's live. Yeah. Everything else was recorded months ago. So I'll give you an example. We had some people in the studio. They said, yeah, you know that part where they're celebrating New Year's Eve at Disneyland and the band is playing? Yeah, we were there for that in November when they taped it. Oh, really? Yeah, they had pictures. Uh, So I know they weren't making it up. Um, Apparently, uh, the uh, Fergie stuff, they had Fergie uh, doing, uh, you know, Fergalicious uh, doing some stuff. Apparently, that had been taped months before as well. (laughs) <laughs> and it felt kind of that way. So they've got Ryan Seacrest. He's live. Dick's live. Yes. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I presume that Jenny McCarthy was live because she was in Lady times. Gaga was live. Lady Gaga man. was something. Wow. <laughs> she was something. She Yeah, she pressed the plunger Yeah. with uh, Mayor she Bloomberg. Did. They pressed the plunger that uh, begins the countdown. Yeah. So apparently well, everything having- everything's pre-taped on that show except the stuff at Times Square. That was so weird. I was disillusioned. Uh, well, I did not know. I did not know that. I thought, you know, I didn't realize how magical TV was. 
What do you think? Should we pre-tape the Saturday shows? I think we should just tape our shows from now on and oh, say... Oh, you know what? That's a good idea. Yeah. Happy New Year. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know, because it, it does get tiring to do them live every time people think it's a I repeat. Know. I know. Let's just uh, Let's just tape them, and then we won't have to be so tired anymore. Oh, okay. That's a great idea. That's a great. Speaking of the new year, do you know that it is sixty-three degrees in New York City? What? Today? It's warmer there than it is here. It's warmer uh, than it's going to be when we get to Vegas. Wow, just bizarre. Just bizarre. The only great thing is uh, it's going to drop down to like the forties tomorrow. But at least I know there's no storm, so I'll have no problem getting uh, my flight out tomorrow. So you leave tomorrow for. I'm going this, to Vegas the Consumer Electronics uh, yeah, show. Yeah, tomorrow night, um, and th there's a, an event from seven to ten. And if my flight's on time, I may catch the the uh, there's a startup event of company startup company. Oh, that sounds gadget. good. Yeah. So now, and then and the, the Consumer Electronics Association, which is the group that throws uh, the CES every year, they have a preview show Sunday night as well. So you, is this innovative innovation stuff different? Uh, innovations is different. Yeah, my flight's going to be in, just get in a little too late for innovations, and you know, so, you know, I, I made my reservations in June because <laughs> I wanted to use miles to upgrade the first, and right. unless you do it really early, they they have like three seats a year to Vegas during uh, conventions, uh, so I, I had to take the flights I could get. So, but I get there at seven, which uh, I ca I can get to the startup event. And then Monday, are you, are you going Monday night? Monday, I'll be to, there by Monday night. So uh, if I get, I don't get in uh, till around six. So I'll, there's, you know, so people, I think we've talked about this before, but the, the, the convention itself begins Tuesday. That 10 a.m. Tuesday, that's when the doors open. We'll actually be there. I decided that that is how we we're going to begin our coverage is I would stand outside the, those doors at 9.55. And just like Dick Clark, we'll, we'll, we'll count down to the opening. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I'm hoping Jenny McCarthy will show up. But uh, and Lady Gaga and Lady Gaga, she was at CES last year. I, you know, I think she's going to be there again this year she, for Polaroid. She, she was there for Polaroid last year, and then Justin Bieber is going to be uh, on the show floor for another company. They, they these companies, they they're trying to make a splash. When you have you know a thousand, two thousand, I don't know how many, five thousand companies, you got to do something. So they spend some yeah. money not only on the booths but on getting big name celebrities. But but the, before the show, before the trade show begins, Sunday night, Monday night, and Tuesday night, they have these little. We've talked about it before. They take over a hotel ballroom and they'll have a little mini show with fifty or sixty vendors. They pay a lot of money, you know, fifteen thousand dollars to be part of these little mini shows. Um, there's the official CEA show on Sunday night. Uh, on Monday night, it's the Pepcom show. The, the the theme this year is the Western Rodeo. And all, I don't know what that's going to be, but I remember two years ago, I remember when it was like the uh, the zoo and they had women painted, practically naked women painted as zebras. So I, I think, think it's the same women with just a different... Oh, I think they'll be wearing they, chaps. They have hats. Hats, yeah. <laughs> they'll be wearing cowboy yeah. hats. Cowboy hats and chaps. Yeah. Uh, and then and then Tuesday night is Showstoppers, Stephen Leon's. Uh, so I will get there in time for Monday. So maybe I'll see you at Pepcom because I, I can't wait to see what these chaps look like. And then on uh, Tuesday night. Yeah, well, you know, Pepcom runs late this year. It's going to run until 11 p.m. Oh, good. I'll get to go. That'll so be dinner. Yeah. I'll have dinner there. And then uh, the Showstoppers, uh, unfortunately, I was you and I were going to do the Weekly Daily Gizwiz there as we did last year. So a I'm going to be doing it with Sarah a while prior you engagement. I got a prior engagement. The, yes. The CEO So of my Ford. guess is the CEO. All right. So my guess by a week from, two weeks from today, there'll be a Ford ad on this show. <laughs> that is your mission. So that is, <laughs> that's my goal. Matt, <laughs> Alan, Alan, can I sell you an ad? Please. I know this guy named Dick. Uh, no, that's going to be fun. We're going to uh, just. A, I, I'm told it's kind of an intimate dinner. Uh, uh, I hope it's not just the two of us, but uh, I think. <laughs> I think oh, you can hold your own. What are you kidding? <laughs> it'll be a lot of fun, um, and uh, so I, you know, I could, you know, I'd be honest. I, 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 as much as I really look forward to doing the our, our yearly CES show, I just couldn't say no to this. So no, I'm going to try to get there before you're done. Okay. Good. Yeah. 
So, yeah. uh, so that, but, and then our coverage uh, is all day Tuesday, all day Wednesday, all day Thursday, all day Friday, and we'll have the, the Home Theater Geek Show. I hope you'll stop by once in a while just to say oh that. i will yeah, yeah sure but you do and we've mentioned this before you're not looking for the new next new tv or cell phone you're looking for the weird stuff i'm looking for the one of a kind uh and often one of a kind that we won't even ever see on the shelves of a store because it's that kooky yeah that's the kind of stuff i'm looking for yeah they do you have any idea what you might see well, you know what? I have uh, something that is not in the marketplace, and they're actually having a developers conference during CES to see what they can do with the WIM, W-I-M-M, -M, one module. So the WIM one, they're at WIM.com, is an Android watch. Now, oh, that's we, both, cool we both looking. like... We both like watches. The, the the slight difference is you like watches that look beautiful. This is a little and clunky. This looks like an iPod it, Nano watch. Yeah, it, it looks like yeah. But I happen to I happen to like this for two reasons. One is uh, during the show th there was a certain number of people uh, reporters that they sent them to before CES, so that with apps built in, so that during CES they could send out headlines headlines about new products that were just introduced they can send out notices don't forget the so-and-so press conference starts in 20 minutes at at such and such a location um but meanwhile they're looking for people who to divide to buy developers kits which are 299 you have the module you get uh the band you get a, uh, the uh, charging cable. You can hook it up to a PC. Also comes with an AC charger. Uh, it's pretty nifty. It has built-in Wi-Fi, built-in Bluetooth. So you can, uh, w when your phone rings, the watch will, will be a caller ID for you. So you can either dig out your cell phone if you have it in your pocket or decide to just ignore it and hit the uh, send to voicemail button. So it's a little, it's a little, it's a touch screen. You can, what I love is you can go through 10 or 12 watch faces and pick the watch face you like. And the reason I don't mind that the screen is kind of big, I think it's a 1.4 inch screen, is if you want, you can put four different time zone watches on it. So I could have LA and New York uh, and, and two other cities if I wanted to. And uh, has how big? How, I mean, I could see on the website, I could see on... I mean, is, well, how does this feel? Does it feel like kind of a clunky? You know, Leo, I am I am really used to wearing big watches. You know, my normal watch, um, I've 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 spent time wearing the lava. Oh yeah, watch. that's this okay. is no bigger than that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it, it's a it's a touch wider, but it, it's it's not as high. My main watch that I've worn for years is the USB Data Link watch, which is also a little bit on the large size. Let me just turn, and. Uh, Oh, here it is. So this is the watch I normally wear. So this is pretty big, oh, yeah. too. Okay, now, wait a minute. Yeah. Now, wait, Dick, is that a spot watch you got there? No, no, I don't. The spot watch... It died this, yeah, yeah. this week. Yes. They killed this the is... spot server. And you yeah, were, yes, I think you they, were the they, number one spot watch proponent, as a matter of fact. I know, I know. You know what? They didn't have to send out an email. They just sent a, a thing to my watch that said, Dick. <laughs> this is it. This is the last thing you we're will down see. down to you. We're down to you. They said, and since you're the only customer and can't <laughs> notify anybody else, we thought, let's cut the cord. But, <laughs> and the, I bring that up not merely to rub salt in your wounds, but to also yes. point out this is very similar. And I'm just wondering, really, come on, do we really want a big clunky thing on our... People well, don't even wear know, watches anymore because they have cell phones. Yes, it's true. It, it's true. But the thing is, I keep my cell phone in my pockets, which are usually jeans, and it's kind of hard to get out. And I thought, right. if I had this, I'd see who it was, and I wouldn't bother pulling my cell phone out. Also, I found an interesting thing. I got one of those uh, rubberized cases for my cell phone so you won't drop the cell phone. Yeah. But I find that whatever, whenever you take it out of your pocket, it also pulls out everything right. else that's in right. your pocket. So right. if you have loose change, everything <laughs> adheres to it. 
<laughs> so, I actually, uh, I just got a rubberized case. And I'll tell you a little later on why I can't use it. But I do notice, this is for my uh, Android phone, that it does have kind of a shiny, slick edge to it. And I bet you that's in response to that very problem. The back is, you know what? is grippy. It, it could be. It's very hard to get it out of your pocket. Yeah, maybe that's why they did that. I was that, wondering. That, yeah, that that might be. Yeah, no, no, I don't know. So the part of the uh, the, the uh, developers conference might be as to what uses people might come up with for the watch. Um, it has two gigabytes of memory. They can go to thirty-two gigabytes of memory. Uh, as I said, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, but. We shall see. As so, how the did you go. how did you score one of these? Uh, I got an email from a PR company. Said, uh, Dick, we've selected a, a certain number of reporters, and we'd like to know if you'd like to try a Wim One watch during CES. We'll send it to you ahead of time, so when you get there, uh, you can see monorail schedules. And oh, wow. uh, if I could interested. use that, I uh, that would have been I would have liked that. Yeah. Oh, well. well. Oh, well, I guess you know, I don't you know, rate. When they, people think of you, Lid, they don't think about technology. I know. You're I mean, more, no. You're, we, we I'm, just, you I'm, just, your, to, I'm no. just second banana on this show. No. We need to, no, when we need to know what shows Barbara Eden dance That's on. That's exactly then what I'm for. You're, you're yeah. there. I am. I'm the television trivia expert on the on the network. Yeah. <laughs> you are. So you if, really. you, if, if, if you're a PR firm representing any television trivia watches... <laughs> Uh, just I'm keep right. me in mind. Would you? Just see now, I, I'm not smart enough, but you are. You could develop the television app for this for useless information. No, in fact, I've already decided this is crap. They didn't send me one. I don't like it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's because you're always fair and honest. <laughs> I don't want you one. Ask. You didn't say, I don't want it now. No, I don't try to give it to me. I don't who want could it. Ask, who could ask for anything more than that <laughs> but, uh, fair you, They sent it to the right guy because you wore a spot watch for years, didn't you? Yeah, I, I like I like You like this kind of, kind of thing, yeah. yeah. All right, with well, the whim. Now, I think there's two, actually, uh, uh, similar uh, products li uh, like this. That the, uh, the whole idea is you need a smartphone. You need an Android phone to, do, uh, to use this because it becomes like a second display for your phone. Yeah, and you download the uh, Android app from Wim, and uh, then they yeah got they it. talk to each other. Got it, got it. Well, I'm I'm curious. I wonder how many uh, geeks we'll see wandering the show floors at CES wearing a a Wim a Wim watch. A Wim watch. Wim watch. Well, well we know watch. one Wim one Wim person will Wim be will be whoa. I'll be wearing mine on a Wim. Oh wow! <laughs> how 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 nice for you. You did a uh, review of the Microsoft Spot Watch on episode 1015 of the Gimp. <clears throat> what year was that? <laughs> 1938. Oh, okay, good. <clears throat> we have been doing this show a very long time. <laughs> this is episode 1000. Can it, 348. Could it really have been only uh, only a couple of years ago that you reviewed a Spot Watch? I you know, probably. Was it? A, it must have been a warehouse. It was must thing, have been right? a warehouse. Yeah, yeah the warehouse. Yeah. yeah. But I remember when those spot watches came out, and people were all excited. Microsoft was oh, it's pushing be, yes, that absolutely. thing that was going to change. Absolutely. But really, what happened was it was using uh, you know uh, public radio stations, uh, uh, vertical blank interval on the TV or something to send this stuff, and it was, so it was very slow. It was very limited in the amount of data you could send. Everybody got the same thing. What happened was cell phones and uh, 3G networks. And widespread uh, data internet, uh, you know, mobile internet. And at that point, nobody really needed it. Yeah. That'd be my analysis. All right. That's the whim watch. We'll be looking for it. What is your, <laughs> what is your okay. se second, the second gadget? second that people, people will also be seeing at CES is from Energy. Energy is en still en I N N. Oh, you know those people? Yeah, from? they dropped off yeah. uh, something, and they sent me something. They said they said, well, here's the thing. I think they said they were going to send me something to keep my stuff charged at CES, and it never came. I bet they sent it to you instead. Mm, you know, I think I asked it to, for it to go to both places. But anyway, Did this you is get something, something that from you'll them? Probably, Let me see what you got. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What is that? So this is a uh, USB cable. Yeah. But it's the smart, they call it magic cable trio. So, Leo, this cable, you can select what you want to charge because this end has the 30-pin Apple charger. Yeah. 
or pull up on that. Oh, look at and that. And flip it out of the way. And then it has the micro USB charger. Oh, that's cool. Now, you can only use one at a time, though, right? Yeah, only one at a time. And the mini. So all three adapters are in this one short cable. So, and then when you want to use, you just push them back together until the one you want is at the end. And it's under 20 bucks. It shows up on Amazon, but says uh, out of stock. And I think that's because it it's probably uh, hasn't shipped yet. But it's pretty neat. If you want, I mean, this guy is really small. So that's you neat. can charge any of the Apple products and uh, almost any smartphone or small PDA. So it's pretty clever. It's called Magic Cable Trio. And they also make another kit if you just need uh, the micro USB and the uh, iPod adapter, they make a complete kit for uh, AC, car, and travel. So it's a, a neat little guy, too. They, they do so a lot two, of that. I'm just looking. I have, uh, they brought by. Um, oh, you, the, oh, they uh, did bring all, something. Well, now this is, this they brought a while ago. This is a, like an all-in-one universal laptop adapter, the M Cube 90. So it's just a small uh, laptop charger or something like oh, that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's certainly better than what I got. Uh, well, you know what? I don't use it because it doesn't support the uh, Apple products. Oh, oh my So word. I don't really need it. So I'll trade you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Uh, gadget number three. Gadget number three. Oh, okay. Gadget number three. I'm not done with your ridiculing pillow Some, something, remote control. <laughs> something, something even better than pillow remote control? Well, pillow remote control, I got my $40 back, okay, from uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. And I'm roaming through Walgreens, and I'm going, wait a minute. A person doesn't have to spend $40 to get a remote control they won't lose. A pillow remote control was a remote control built into a pillow. And the object was... You, you know, never you lose your pillows. Fall. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It won't right. fall behind the pillow because it, it is, is the, the pillow. pillow. Yeah, it is the yeah, pillow. Yeah. Perfect. And then I found the 8-in-1 jumbo universal remote control that you may have trouble losing because <laughs> this is <laughs> that huge that is it, huge that's bigger than the, is, my 50 inch tv it is almost it is almost stupidly large because <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a joke it looks it looks like yes it looks like a, a prank pack okay but it's all over Amazon for eight bucks, but Walgreens was selling it for five bucks. But you know, and I thought, what you should do, Dick, you need to compare it. If you compare it to the size of this this pencil, it really oh. it's not that big. No, you you know you're absolutely right. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. It's really yeah, it's about the size. Turn it on its side. Yeah, on, uh, it's, yeah. On, see, because it's it's actually no thinner, no thicker than a pencil. Oh, you're absolutely right. Yeah, you're absolutely right. But Leo, now, now if th this is my regular TV remote, yeah. Now my watch doesn't look quite that big, <laughs> does it? No, compare that watch to a pencil, and you can see it, it, it it's, ha, yeah. it's tiny. It's tiny. Wow. It's tiny. Wow. Um, so this is kind of funny. I mean, the reality of the situation is that. You could just leave this on a table. You're not going to misplace it. it. It's fairly, it, it's easy to program, except there's something so stupid about it, is this is aimed at people who have a hard time seeing the keys on the remote control. Well, they send out the instructions with a typeface <laughs> that you, it is. Wait most, a minute, I can't read it. Yeah, yeah exactly. I need exactly. a magnifying glass. You need a magnifying glass. I couldn't read it with my readers to find the codes for the device. That's really terrible. To sell a product yep. that's got big print so people with low vision can use it and then have a tiny print instructions, that's just cruel. It, it is cruel. And there's one other very uh, stupid thing about this device. It says, once you find all the codes... Make sure you write them down. This will control eight devices. Write the codes down because when you replace the batteries 
All no. the codes will be gone. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, you dear. know, if, if you need a big remote and, you know, for eight bucks, it's probably worth it. I was looking around on Amazon and it said out of stock. There's a different version with... Uh, glow in the dark keys for two dollars extra, ten bucks. Uh, if that was available, that would be a, a better choice. And the thing to remember, even though I got this easily to control my cable box, you have to remember that this will do all the major functions of the cable box. But cable uh, remotes now have so many little extra gadgets, you know, like time one of the cable box has last 30 seconds. So if you missed what someone said or a phone number, you hit the, the, the last 30 seconds key. There's no way there's a, a last 30 seconds on almost any of these universal remote controls. But um, as I said, if grandma needs this and was a weightlifter in former days, I love you might that. <laughs> it's almost a, it's almost a foot high. Yeah, how, I mean, how heavy it, is it? Heavy? It doesn't look heavy. No, it's very light. I my my assistant, my intern, Myra will. <laughs> right. Myra, I, I, go ahead. It's very light and wait. Let's it's very it. light. Here you go. Go ahead. Lean in. My assistant Myra will demonstrate this. Okay, that's my hand. <laughs> wow. Okay, it's huge. Yeah, it's, it's, it's big sweet. though. It's I like big. It. You like it? Yeah. Can okay. I have it? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you can have it. Yeah. Um, oh, we know anyway, why Myra so comes in. She comes in for the free stuff. Yeah, she comes in. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. She, you know, she comes in with a, a, a big satchel every week. And I said, Oh, you've been out shopping? And she said, Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping to visit the gadget warehouse. I'll visit the gadget warehouse. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's gadget three. So he had two gadgets brand new that we'll be seeing at CES. And one gadget that you'll be seeing already at your local Walgreens or on Amazon.com. And it's branded by uh, dozens of people. It, it's like Lava Watch. You can buy it right. at 10, 10 or 20 different websites. But if you look at the picture, they're all the same. Um, so Jumbo, 8-in-1, universal remote control. Chat room is now pointing out that you'll have to pay uh, after a scale to Myra because you just got lines. <laughs> oh, uh oh, not to talk. Not to oh, talk. you're not supposed to say anything. Fortunately, after rate for someone on a podcast is pretty nine low. cents yeah. a word. Yeah, it's not very, <laughs> not very much. So uh, I, I am going to do uh, my gadget in uh, just a little oh. bit, and actually, I have a couple of things to show you. Um, Excellent. But first, perhaps I should talk a little bit about our friends at Netflix.com. Yes. We all love Netflix streaming. Uh, what was I watching last night? See, the thing is, I, 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 I do have the discs, the Netflix disc deal, but I, uh, I just come home and I watch something on Netflix. Oh, I know what I was watching. I thought of you when I was watching it. Yeah. Charles Nelson Riley did a oh, one-man show uh, about his life. And the, uh, you know, he, oh, I want to see that. It's called, it's called The Life of Riley. Uh, they recorded it. He, they actually, he had done it. I guess uh, toured with it a few years, maybe ten years ago. They persuaded him to record it once again, just a few years ago, and it's fantastic. Oh, great! And it's streaming. And not it's DVD. on Netflix streaming. And I, I would have great. never discovered this. Even more importantly, I probably would have not ordered the DVD. You know, you're very careful with the DVD. You only get a few, and you're going to have it for a while. So it always makes me a little bit nervous. Uh, so, but I saw this, and I love Charles Nelson Riley. Uh, oh, he, of me course, too. Uh, was a regular on the Hollywood Squares. He was always a center square. Match game. And he was on. You worked with him on the Match Game. Oh, yeah, a long time. Which is why I thought you might enjoy this. Yeah, he was quite the character. <laughs> it was very funny. Holy moly. He was very funny. So this was recorded, I, you know, is he still with us? or did he, I think he's passed no, away. No, a couple of years ago he passed on. So this they must have recorded shortly before he passed away. It was recorded in 2009. Uh, it's, it's his life uh, starting, I mean, just fascinating um, and he talks about the game shows and everything. I just thought you'd love this. So um, I will absolutely get it tonight. Yeah. yeah. 
the life of Riley. But the point really is the watch instantly is just such a great thing. It's $7.99 a month. You know what? I've been waiting for this to go on streaming Portlandia. I'm so excited. Uh, I've, I didn't see this uh, uh, series, um, uh, but it's apparently hysterical. And uh, now I'm going to be watching it tonight when I get I'm home. Right, not down too. Yep, yep. Six. <laughs> there's only six episodes, but I'm just uh, I'm just dying to see that. Um, oh my gosh, I could just go on and on. They, those are the TV shows, documentaries, um, just uh, you know, and and new stuff too. Did you see the Jeff Bridges True Grit, the remake? No, I wasn't. No. I tell you, I was very skeptical because, of course, John Wayne won an Oscar for the original True Grit. Uh, and I, I'm nervous about remakes. You gotta see this. It's so good. Wow. Uh, Josh Brolin, uh, Jeff Bridges as most as Marshall Rooster Cogburn, and uh, Matt Damon is hysterical in it as a Texas Ranger. But the the show is stolen as it was in the original True Grit by the young girl who uh, plays Maddie Ross. Her name is Haley Steinfeld, and she's incredible. This is a a Coen Brothers film. Oh, Any, great. Yeah. I mean, I'm a big Coen Brothers fan. This, yeah, me too. Just one more. Look, $7.99 a month. And your first month's free. Go to Netflix.com slash Twit. You could be watching these tonight. Free. So just don't waste any time. Go ahead and uh, if you're already a member, tell a friend. Don't let them suffer. Netflix is the greatest thing, the greatest entertainment deal there is. Netflix.com. Slash twit. Would you do the honors, Dick? Because uh, it's time for the uh, turn the table turkey. I will. Dick DiBartolo, Mads Vedder, try to end the gigs with one day a week. No, no, no. Don't turn it off because it's changing. <laughs> the stuff is not that bad. <laughs> one time a week, Leo Laporte gets to do his own pick on turn the table turkey. Giant pencil. Dick says, put that away. It's turn the table turkey. Ladies and gentlemen, da -da -da, I have the world's smallest phone. Just compare it to the size of this pencil, and wow. you will see how thin Holy it is. Cow, wow. <laughs> how tiny. But you must have pretty big hands. <laughs> oh, my hands are ginormous. Yeah. <laughs> No, this is, uh, that, don't you love this pencil? I bought it just for this purpose. It, uh, it's it's from accoutrement. It actually works. It's got an actual uh, working graphite lead and a real eraser. I just love this giant pencil. Perfect for comparisons. I thought, you know, we talk a lot about uh, phones, and I know you use Android uh, phones and love them. Yes. Uh, you're yeah. a Droid fan. And uh, I did not do my review of the Galaxy Nexus on this show, I did it for our new uh, gadget show or review show uh, before you buy. Um, but perhaps you heard my review. Uh, I panned the sucker, um, <laughs> and I, welcome to pan that pan sucker. Pan the sucker. I mean, I was just really not impressed at all. And I know a lot of people disagree with me. It's been hotly awaited. It was three hundred bucks, and people are just crazy about it. And the real issue, of course, is that uh, the phone that I prefer and recommended um, is the Samsung Galaxy S2. I like it because it doesn't have ice cream sandwich on it. It has the uh, older, but in my opinion, better gingerbread on it. And it's just got a better screen. I, it's a less expensive phone, and I really love it. But uh, I feel bad because Verizon uh, neglected to... Every carrier has a Galaxy S2 except Verizon. Verizon said, we're going to wait. We're going to have the Galaxy Nexus. So I didn't really have a good phone recommendation. I've been reviewing uh, this phone from a Verizon, and I have to say this is, in my opinion, uh, the, instead of getting the uh, Nexus, uh, if you're on Verizon, this is the phone for you. It's the HTC Resound with a Z, R-E-Z-O-U-N-D. It's very fast, dual 1.5 gigahertz Snapdragon processors. Um, if one of the reasons you wanted a Galaxy uh, Nexus is because of the screen resolution, which was on the Nexus uh, 1280 by 720, this is also 1280 by 720 on a 4.3 inch screen. And it doesn't have the screen problems 
that in my opinion the Nexus suffered from. The Nexus is a, a Super AMOLED but using a Pentile subpixel rendering technology that gives it a lot of color noise in my opinion. This is a different uh, screen technology. Uh, I, it's very, very good. Um, and the whites are clear. There's no color noise. So you get a 720p screen. Uh, a little smaller than an Nexus, only 4.3 inches, but very clear, very easy to uh, look at. It also beats the, the Nexus because it's got an 8 megapixel camera with dual flash. The Nexus is only 5 megapixels. Um, it, it's a, a 2 megapixel front facing camera, which is really a high quality front facing camera, perfect for Skyping and other things. Uh, and this is also a 4G phone. And one of the reasons people wanted that Nexus is they wanted access to Verizon's 4G network, which is a very fast network. Now, the negatives, a couple of negatives. It is an HTC phone, so the Nexus is a pure Google experience. You know, it's it doesn't have any uh, any carrier or manufacturer software on it. This one, of course, has the Verizon VCast software, all the weird software Verizon puts on it, and um, it is using, of course, HTC's uh, you know kind of uh, 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 I, I guess I'll call it sugar on top of the GUI. I happen to like what uh, HTC does with uh, uh, touch sense but uh, with sense rather but um, some people might say oh I want the plain Google experience if you really do you can of course put an alternate launcher on there and you can get a more stock experience but even more importantly uh, Verizon's already announced HTC's already announced that they will be making ice cream sandwich available uh, for this it has 2.3 uh, gingerbread on it but ice cream sandwich will come probably in the next three months um, the reason I really didn't like Ice Cream Sandwich is the lack of physical buttons. This does have physical buttons, so you'll get the best of both worlds. You'll have that search key always at the bottom of the screen, even when you're running Ice Cream Sandwich. And I think that that uh, also makes this desirable. Now, they're pitching the Resound as an audio phone. It comes with uh, earbuds, uh, the Beats earbuds, the Dr. Dre uh, earbuds, which are expensive Um they have good bass. They're not. They're certainly better than the kind of stock earbuds you get with a lot of phones. Not what I would call audiophile necessarily, but good sounding earbuds. And there's software in here if you're using the Beats headphones that uh, it comes with uh, that will, uh, when you play music, take advantage of those headphones to kind of pump up the bass and and it gives you. I think it's a it's a nice sounding phone. They're really pitching this as a uh, as a kind of a music phone. Uh, I. You know what? I love this phone. It is expensive. I think all the new phones are going to be fairly expensive. Um, uh, this is a $300 phone, although uh, I do notice that, for instance, for the Nexus, you were able to get it for much less from Amazon Wireless. Probably the same is true uh, for this phone. So, uh, you know, shop around. Uh, also, in my opinion, $300, while expensive compared to other Android phones, is really a fraction of the total cost of this phone because, as with all smartphones, you're going to be paying 100 bucks a month thereabouts uh, for the privilege of using it. So over the two-year contract period, we're talking thousands of dollars. So uh, an extra 100 bucks for the phone, uh, while annoying, is, is probably not a deal-breaker. Nice job. I think the screen is spectacular. It's clear. It's crisp. Uh, better in every way than the Nexus. It feels just as snappy, just as fast, because it is. And uh, you've got great 4G. So if you are a Verizon customer, the Resound, R-E-Z-O-U-N-D, is a great choice, especially if you don't mind HTC Sense. Um, pretty, pretty nice little camera, uh, pretty nice little phone, a little bit thicker and heavier feeling uh, than some other phones out there. But uh, I liked it. You know, I, the phone that I really love is still, and unfortunately it's not on Verizon, the uh, Galaxy S2. I've reviewed this. This is the Sprint version of it, the uh, Sprint Epic Touch 4G. My gosh, I wish they would just all call it the same thing. But I wanted to show you something that I did. This is a kind of a second, uh, a, an extra gadget for a CES. You know, all, the problem with all of these phones is you're not getting really more than eight hours of battery life if you use them. Uh, as they're intended to be used. It's just these things just drain the battery like crazy. So remember you talked about buying an extra external battery and USB charger from... Uh, yes. I can't remember. What is it? Battery... You had, uh, you had a was, website. Uh, cell phone shop. Cellphonebattery.com, something like that. Um, cell phone shop. Thing cell phone shop, that's right. So I went on, because I'm going to take this to CES, and, uh, you know, eight hours battery life, it's just going to die before I get back to my uh, room. You know, um, when you're doing CES, you get out of your room at 7 and you don't get back till 11. So I need something uh, that, you know, has at least 17 or 18 hours of battery life. So I bought for just 40 bucks 
This is the Trexel. I got it on Amazon. Uh, replacement battery. Instead of a 1,700 milliamp hour battery, this is 3,800. It's more than twice as much. Wow. But it's also twice as thick, you can see. And indeed, I have been getting 17 and 18 hours. I've been getting great battery life. It comes with <laughs> a cover that has an extra it looks like the hunchback of notre dame the thing is so <laughs> ugly uh, but you know what it's already a it's a very thin phone i would love to have kept that thin profile in fact you could pair it to the resound you could see how much thinner it is than the resound this hump is annoying but i'm going to sacrifice uh beauty and elegance uh for that extra battery life so uh about 30 or 40 bucks not expensive uh, you know these batteries you know laptop batteries are what 90 bucks uh, these batteries yes. have gotten a, a lot less expensive uh, over time, and I think this is well worth it. And by the way, I still have my original battery in back, so I'll keep that charged up. So if I do run out of juice, uh, you know, as I'm traipsing around Las Vegas, I can pop in another uh, another uh, battery, and I'll have it. I'll be able to get another seven or eight hours out of it. You know, of course, for my iPhone, uh, and I've talked about that before. I'm using the Mophie case. This is the extender case, the Juice Pack Air. And uh, it makes the iPhone big and clunky, too. There's no removable battery on the iPhone. But at least you get, you know, you're going to get a full day worth of time. And actually, I have two of these. So what I do is I keep one in the room charging. Uh, I let this drain. Once this is drained, I pop it off, use the phone, which is still at 100%. And if, uh, if I have access to my Juice Pack Plus, which is the, uh, the bigger one, I could pop that on. And, and then I can, you can get maybe 48 hours uh, without charging on that. So nice. you can see how many phone how many phone numbers do you have? Um, well, uh, that's AT and T on the iPhone. That's one. That's Sprint for the uh, Galaxy. That's two. I have a uh, uh, another one on AT and T. This is the uh, Windows Phone, the Samsung uh, 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 S Windows Phone Focus S. So that's three. Uh, the Resound that's on Verizon. That's four. I actually have a Verizon number. I, I'm I'm currently without a phone, so five. Wow. Uh, and oh, and T-Mobile. I forgot my T-Mobile. Uh, okay. Six. So uh, so it's true then. Every time I call, they say, "I'm sorry, Leo's on another line." So <laughs> yeah. they're not uh, they're pretty not much lying. pretty much always. The Razor. Somebody's asked me three X Stephen three X in the chat room if I like the Razor on Verizon. I do not. Uh, that is also a pentile display. Uh, the Razer has lots of problems. I would stay away from the Razer. If you're on Verizon and you want a good Android phone, certainly take a look at the Nexus. Uh, but I would not. Uh, I would not avoid the uh, Resound. This would be my choice uh, over the Nexus. I think it's a really, really nice phone. And the Beats sound good. The we've got. So I'm going to take these three. Eh, I'm sorry, four phones to CES. One of them should survive the day. <laughs> Look at that. Can you believe that? That's crazy. Yeah. The other reason you do that is because, uh, of course, everybody uh, in Vegas uh, at these trade shows is using an iPhone. So you just can't, you know, d data on AT&T is uh, just unusable during CES. So having this Sprint phone, I think, is going to be a boon because uh, Sprint has 4G in Vegas. It will be much less used, I think, than AT&T. So uh, that's the main reason I got this big battery hump on this sucker on this Sprint phone because I have a feeling I'll be using this a lot. You know, one of the things I am going to do, and I just uh, should mention this, uh, in addition to our regular coverage, I'm going to be uh, uh, using Audioboo. I use this in China. It's kind of fun. It's just an audio recording uh, tool for Android or uh, iPhone. And I can record short little, you know, up to half an hour long audio bits uh, on here and post them on Audioboo. And They'll also go to my blog. So um, if you want to follow me, I will be doing additional uh, audio, mostly for the radio show, but I'll have it posted on my blog uh, pretty quickly uh, after, you know, I, I'm going to take it to Showstoppers and Pepcom and all of that uh, and have stuff. Uh, and I'm also going to use a program called Social Cam to shoot some, uh, some video. So my blog is leoville.com. I did some test video with social cam. This is cool. So I can actually do this directly from my phone and it goes right to the blog just like this via Posturus. And then uh, this is the audio boo. And you can just play it right off the uh, right off the blog. Uh, there's a little player on here. So there should be more of these. So I've been thinking of doing something a little different for... So that's the audio boo. And uh, I tried this one in my car. I, I have to show you this clip. I, this might be a gadget for uh, another time. It's a little suction cup clip the chat room recommended. 
uh, for uh, smartphones for your car. And that way, All you, right, can, one more you thing. can sit in the car and get great video. Uh, I just posted which is, which is kind of fun. And it holds, oh, yeah. it, it holds very steadily the iPhone or the uh, Android audio. phone. And so, I, I, I mean, I probably shouldn't be recording video while I'm driving, but uh, mm. what the hell? It's, at least I'm not texting. No, that's good. That's good. <laughs> so there, uh, there you have it, a review of, of a couple of items. Um, you know, I did buy, I foolishly, because we were talking about uh, having a case. And, you know, I go through phones so fast, I guess I don't really need a case. Uh, but I did buy a case for the uh, Samsung uh, uh, Epic Touch 4G. But I forgot that this battery I can't fit the case on anymore. Oh, <laughs> great. Uh, so I have an extra case. Duct tape. It, yeah. Yeah. You know, it fits, but it just kind of looks a little. Yeah, just a touch. Just a little wrong. It's not exactly the fit and finish I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you, you, you keep it? You, you were saying you, you keep a case on your phone all the time. I, I you know, I, I keep a rubberized case. One is if you accidentally drop the phone, which is hard to do when it's rubberized. But right. if you, you accidentally grip. push push it off the edge of the desk, moving papers around, it, it tends to just bounce a little and, and no damage. But it does pull everything out of your pocket that's in your pocket <laughs> when, when you do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know, every week we uh, we take a little trip down memory lane. It's a trip that is both in your imagination and in the real world because in order to take this trip, Dick actually has to get up out of his chair, go out the door, hang a right. No, I guess you go left, don't you, out the door? Uh, yes, go down, left. You go down to Amsterdam. You hang a left on Amsterdam. Then you go, you go cross town till you get to Broadway. You hang a right on Broadway. Am I right? Yeah. Get yeah. a GPS. Any of those phones have a GPS? <laughs> and, so there you, and there you and there you have it. Dick's gadget warehouse. It's right there over on uh, Broadway in uh, in uh, 57th Street. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass You like my mastery of Manhattan, huh? To play in Dick's gadget warehouse. Oh. Somebody's saying you should do a GPS voice. You go, hey, you know, go so go over there, and uh, you see right there, turn left, right? Yeah, no, no, not there. Go no, over. No, maybe, not. yeah. Far, see the sign it's by, over by the car there? There, turn right. I think yeah. I should do that. That'd be good. That'd be good. Very That'd useful. Good. I well, told, now, what I did last week is got a gadget from the warehouse, but did a little video of it. And in a very clever way for you to fade, I wear the same shirt now oh, as I wear in the Dick, video. Dick, the production so values just production mind boggling values. here. It is. Made us try to end the Gizwiz with this week's weekly daily Gizwiz video. So I went to the warehouse and I got the 3M Inflator Pack. Okay, not to be confused with the inflator bra, <laughs> which is in another part of Dick's sketch warehouse, a part of the warehouse you'll never see. Okay, inflator pack. This came out in the year 2000, so it's now 2012, so it's 12 years old, and it's the air cushion packaging system. It was, it's a way to ship delicate items and not use those little peanuts. You know those peanuts, they fill boxes with them and they, they ship items. I don't know what you do with them. I served them at Christmas. No one ate them. It was ridiculous. Anyway, it comes at a good time because for Christmas, Dennis got a piece of china from his great-grandmother's uh, dinnerware set sent to him by someone uh, in California. And he wants to send it on to his sister. So instead of using that great big box... What is that box on your face? Wait, I have no <laughs> idea. Whoa! <laughs> Wait a minute. Rewind. Uh, I, I have to rewind. I screwed that up. I did something and there was a big box in front of your face. Sent to him by someone uh, in California. And he wants to send it on to his sister. So instead of using that great big box with all the peanuts, we decided... <laughs> oh, jeez, Dick. <laughs> um. <laughs> Dennis, do you have another piece of priceless heirloom 
China. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, very good. For, obviously from the same set. Okay. So this is how it works. Let's just... That was good, Dick. Right, and... <laughs> hey, thank you. Thank you. You're my best uh, fan. Da -da 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 -da. Insert item in center of packet. No need to seal the top. Inflate the bag until firm by blowing into the straw. Remove the straw, box, and ship. Okay, that's it. So this is the inflator pack. Uh, I looked online. Believe it or not, they're still available uh, on Amazon. So that's pretty good for a product that's 12 years old. Let's see where the top is. Oh, okay, here it is. So you open it up. It's a uh, a double walled plastic bag so we put the item in here that's not to be broken and what does it say inflate here you blow right into that thing let's see well that doesn't work I'm have a heart attack inflate watching this. Yeah. here and oh okay I see there's a cover over this drawer. How sanitary. Uh, I don't think I'm doing this. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, it's great. You, it really... Oh, I guess it does work, though, huh? Yeah, it, it forms around oh, the okay. object. So it's a one-way valve. Wow, and look at that. Do look we at dare? That. All right, you're right. Put it on the floor? Well... That was not. Okay. There oh, you go. Look at that. Uh, I don't know if you can reuse it. Um, lift to deflate. Okay. I guess you can reuse it. Um, I looked online, and this comes in four different sizes, and the large one was four bucks. So I don't know why this is not deflating. Oh, I see. There's another piece of tape over. You can anyway, never no, get it out. Deflation. But there it is. 3M inflator pack air cushion packaging to keep Bartolo Mads Medis try to end the Gizwiz with this week's weekly daily Gizwiz video have a peanut and it made it safely from Dennis's apartment to Disneyland. <laughs> one floor out. down. <laughs> well, one floor down and one apartment over. Oh, oh, well. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's that cross it's that cross stairway traffic. That that's can get you in trouble. All right. So do they do they still make this? I mean, you're right. Yeah. You you sold me. At that first was, I thought this is dumb, but you sold me on this. No, it, it's a, it's actually a very clever idea. And and I was looking online, they make them for bottles. So if you want to send someone a bottle uh, of wine or, or a bottle of although wine comes in very thick bottles, but still in all, if it's something valuable, this is an easy way to pack it. Yeah. Uh lots of sizes and as does I it, said, does it somehow on, suspend it in the middle of the Yes it does. Okay. Yes it does. It's a it's a dual wall that ah, inflates, and okay. the item is at the dead center of it. God, so there's a God. cushion of air all the way around it. That's very clever. Yeah, very I think clever. that's neat. And how yeah. much? And per, someone's uh, buying it. Uh, four bucks for the large size, uh, and then it's cheaper. I saw someone selling like a dozen of them for for a certain price. But if you have the if you ship. Uh, delicate items. This is a good way to do, a sure, good way to do yeah. it. Uh, inflate a pack from 3M and lasted 12 years. So that either, either the warehouse is full of them from 12 years ago, or they're selling enough that they keep making them. It's one or the other. Very. Is it reusable? Yes. Uh, later on, I found out that when I re removed the other little sticky tape, uh, let the, the air, air out. go out uh -huh. and the straw. I didn't pull the straw out, so you can reinflate it. Yeah, so it is reusable. Even better. Even better. Even Yeah, even better, exactly. Next time I ship this giant pencil, I will be using <laughs> 3M inflator bags. <laughs> hey, I did want to add one thing uh, to my review that I meant to say and I forgot. The only yes. thing I don't like, and I just don't understand why this happens, with the Resound, it doesn't use a micro USB connector. It's using kind of a weird looking, reminds me of a mini, uh, the mini HDMI connector. Um, it's just a strange looking proprietary, I don't know if it's proprietary or not, 
uh, but it's got a little a little indentation. It looks just like it might be that it is in fact uh, micro HDMI, and so it can double for that or something. But you know, if the, I think nowadays every phone should have the same micro standard micro USB connector so that you can charge it. Um, yeah, yeah, that is strange. Yeah. I think this is an HTC, maybe an HTC something. I don't know. It's just you know, uh, Apple does it too, and I just. Uh, I, I have to I have to rank it down for that. Yeah, because you, you got to save. So you think? So do you think it'll work? Okay, Dan says he thinks it'll work with a micro USB connector. Let me see. I don't think so. No, no, it's not the same. It doesn't fit. You have to have this special connector. Uh, it, is not, uh, it is not a standard. Con well, wait a minute. Oh yeah. Okay, I take it back. Look at that. It will charge. All right, you're right. I can use. Oh, okay. Chat room is brilliant. It's a little bit loose, but you know I have that problem often with micro USB. It's not the best connection ever. But yeah, it is charging with a micro USB. So I guess it's micro USB meets HDMI, and you can use yeah. it. Or ah, that's good to know. Thank you, chat room. Well done, Dan Hendricks. Uh, it'll charge, but apparently uh, Blipfish says he thinks it might not sync. But that's all right. Very few people, I think, nowadays uh, do syncing over USB. We I use uh, Air Twists. Um, so there you go. There uh, you yeah, go. good. Okay. That's a, all right. Rank it back up. Two stars. Are you ready for a little uh, email action? We didn't do any last week, so I think we should do extra this we'll week. We'll do a couple. Yeah, we will. All we right. Will. Let, me, uh, let me just say, ladies and gentlemen, somebody sent me an email saying, you know, if you announce the jingle, then play the jingle, it'll make more sense. So ladies and gentlemen, here's the jingle. Gizwiz letter time. I have some physical letters. Do you have an email you want to start with? Uh, I'll, I'll start with a letter from Lindsay Kooser, K-O-O-S-E-R, watching in Yakima, Washington. It's fun just to say Yakima. Yakima. I am Yakima, Washington. Um, and actually, this is a very enlightening letter in lieu of the mad auction we talked about last week. And she writes... I watched the latest Weekly Daily Gizwiz when you mentioned the problem you had with the Mad Magazine auction. I want to let you know I believe there were more problems than lack of attendance oh. on a holiday week. I went to the site in an attempt to place a bid, went through the sign-up process, but was unable to place bids. I made multiple tries with no luck, and I had received an email telling me I was successfully signed up but could I bid? No. Uh, if you decide to have a conversation with them, you might bring this up. So I, I did bring it up. We've been playing phone tag all week, and someone sent me a tweet saying uh, the same thing here. I was bidding like crazy, but the bids were all rejected. So maybe something went terribly wrong at that auction. Well, I would go uh, back to these guys and say, dudes, I don't know what you could say. They already sold it, I guess. But Yeah. Well, we'll see what they what they say. It seems um, unfair. I mean, you you know, yeah. this is you know that's precious stuff. Yeah, did tell me anyway. Well, Lindsay's very conscious. <laughs> Since I was unable to bid, can I buy another box of crap if there's still more <laughs> crap in your warehouse? There's yes, always Lindsay. more crap. There's Lindsay. always crap. Just uh, I'm selling crap from now to doomsday. I'm selling <laughs> more crap since the warehouse just went up another forty bucks. Uh, January 1st. Yeah, just put box of crap in an email and I'll send you info on buying a box of crap. Um, okay, now you do one and then I'll do one more. All right, I'll do one. This came from Lisa Wilkins and it's actually an, an actual letter. You know, a like letter. printed letter on on stationery and everything. You know, there was a headline in the post man receives real <laughs> letter. Yes. It, it must have been you. Must have been me. Handwritten. Wow. Uh, she, uh, she's writing from Newport News, Virginia, and says, Dear Leo, Dick, Sarah, or anyone who can help, I'm writing you because, well, who else would I write to for computer advice? My husband and I have watched you for years, and he now downloads your shows weekly and listens to them constantly. You know, it's always good to start the first paragraph of a letter to us by kissing up. We appreciate yeah. this. 
I am a computer novice. I know how to print a card in Word on Windows 7, and that is pretty impressive for me and my skills. In fact, that is as far as I get. My husband, Kevin, is a computer guru, however. He knows them, repairs them, doctors them, has an iPhone 4S, whatever that means, and due to his job, lives on that phone. My dilemma, when he asked what he wanted for his birthday, when I asked what he wanted for his birthday, he hemmed and hawed until I finally got the answer, an iPad. He didn't want to tell me because he knew we couldn't afford one. After looking at them online, I understood why. However, we have friends, and I was thinking of trying to get a buy Kevin an iPad pool going. Oh. Hmm. I have no idea how to look for one. Is it better to shop online, Amazon, Apple? Do I trust eBay, QVC, Best Buy? I know there are other types of tablets out there, but wouldn't know which is better. Can you give me some advice as to how to shop for one and maybe, maybe even how to get a good price on one? Kevin is my knight in shining armor. We've been married 34 years. His birthday is January 18th. Because it's right after Christmas, he seems to get slighted on the gift end, and no one should miss out on a decent present on their birthday. Other than a good cigar, this is what he really wants. Your advice would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> Help me, Obi Leo Kenobi. You're my only hope, Lisa. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? Yeah. So um, I guess I should probably answer her via email, although I'm worried she might not get it. Uh, for one thing, if he wants an iPad, get an iPad. You know, I could recommend the Amazon uh, Kindle Fire for 200 bucks. It's a great tablet. But the problem is if somebody really wants an iPad and you give them something else, they're just not going to be happy. We saw it with the iPods. You know, you'd give a kid a Zune and they'd look at you with a snake eyes, evil eyes. Yeah. Uh, and unfortunately, iPads are never discounted. Uh, you should always get an iPad from an a a Apple reseller. That would be Amazon. Apple.com. I would not get it on eBay, QVC. Best Buy does sell them. Target sells them. But you'll notice the price is the same everywhere. So get it wherever you feel most comfortable. If there is an Apple store near you, and I think there is, that's where I'd get it. You'll get not the same price, but they really do stand by their products. They're very helpful. And if you buy it there, they'll even uh, help him use it if he, uh, if he decides he needs help. So um, I, I think an iPad, as expensive as it is, is probably... Uh, well worth uh, the price. Just get them the Wi-Fi one, the $500 Wi-Fi one. You don't need to get anything much more fancy than that. All right. Do you, you agree, um, Dick? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Do you have an iPad? Uh, I, I have an iPad on loan. And do you I like have it? A, uh, I do. And I have an Asa. Um, what do they call that? Yeah, their, what do you uh, think of, like, the Iconia? What do you think of the... Uh, yes, the Iconia. Yeah, what do you uh, think of that? Yeah, you know, I like them both, and I don't carry it around with me. Basically, uh, I, I mentioned I, I don't have an actual computer in my apartment, which shares the wall with Disneyland. Right. Uh, you keep it and, all in Disneyland. I, you don't, you don't yeah. want it to leak over. No, but the only thing I want to leak over is my Wi-Fi, and it's great. Like at three in the morning, I don't feel like coming back into the studio to check my mail. Right. So I just take out the tablet and uh, uh, check email on that. And occasionally, I, I take the tablet down the boat, where I also have Wi-Fi and watch Netflix. So that's again, really good for that. I think it, it's a real easy way to have movies anywhere you go right. on a fairly decent sized, you know, t a 10 inch screen is pretty good. But if price is, a, is, a, is an issue, then don't get the 3G one because that's going to be 25 bucks more a month. Yeah, uh, just get the Wi-Fi one. He'll be near Wi-Fi most of the time. Oh you know, yeah, he's if he's he's the, the uh, uh, gadget person in the in the family, so he certainly has Wi-Fi pretty much everywhere. Yeah, exactly, I would think. Exactly. Uh, I'm going to do one more letter. Also, I wanted to mention if if anybody else tried to bid on my Christmas auction uh, for uh, vintage Mad magazines, could you just send me an email saying, Dick, I tried to bid too and I couldn't. Yeah, just collect so I, some evidence. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, and then I think you could go to them if you got a bunch of people saying, "Hey, we weren't able to bid." Yeah. And I think Well, you know, we, we we just know our fans and I tweeted several times that four and five uh, four and five issue collection from 30 years ago was going for $8. God, uh, you, I you know I people are going to show up for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, even to bid it up to 10 or right, something. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, all right, uh, the our last letter. Not sure how Leo and you could work it in. Could you do a show or part of a show highlighting your favorite deal sites? Uh, a few I check are Ice Monkey, One Sale a Day, 
dealnews.com, bensoutlet.com, but I know there are more. What's your favorite and Leo's favorite? Greg uh, Crumbliss. Uh, Greg, I go to all the websites you mentioned. Um, I also go to uh, locobuy, L-O-C-O-B-U-Y.com. 13deals.com, and, and a good website for high-end tech, okay, is shop4tech.com. So shop, S-H-O-P, the number four, and tech, T-E-C-H.com. And they do a roundup of discounts on high-end drives and computers and stuff. Um, Leo, do you have any any sites you go to? Uh, sort of dig? Dick, I believe in supporting our flagging economy, and I actually pay full retail for everything I buy, and I'm proud to do that. Wow! Yeah. Wow, Mister America! <laughs> <laughs> I had never heard of any of those sites. Actually, I'm gonna have to start. Really? Oh, I didn't know oh. you could do that. Yeah. Do you get a, Do you get yeah. like really good deals doing that? Uh, sometimes you do. Uh, I'm looking around here. See, it's, you That's know, where I found my first lava watch. Okay. What's the deal of the day? Okay. See, I think if I don't do that, I won't buy things like lava watches. So in the long run, I'm saving more by not visiting. Oh, maybe. Those okay. Uh, camera case with built-in amp and speakers. Yeah, so you're just buying a bunch of crap that you don't really want. Uh, well, I may want. I may, but you know, <laughs> I, I, let me let me tell you the 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 problem with these sites for me. Yeah, it it, it turns out to be a wildly false economy, like the warehouse. Exactly warehouse, what I'm saying. Where I've spent eighty thousand dollars yes. to store yes. crap. Yes, you're just buying more made. stuff. Exactly. <laughs> right. So I buy the lava watch with shipping for eleven dollars, and someone says, uh, "That is absolutely, I absolutely love that." Oh, okay. Here, take it. So I buy six more, okay? <laughs> and then some well, of that's oh, just because you're generous. Oh, oh, just take it. You're okay. just generous. That's yeah. all. So my $11 lava watch is now costing about $133. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid if I go to sites like that, that it really just makes me buy more stuff that I didn't really want. Yeah, well, place. that's kind of the object. Uh, yeah, see, okay, so I'm not missing anything. No, no. Um, oh, don't forget the brand new. What the heck is it? Ooh, did do we do we have a winner on the uh, on the uh, we, well, uh, actually, Smurf toilet six, seat? Uh, I mean, uh, twelve people did get it right. You're kidding? No, it's Klingo. A little. It looked like a compact. Lots, hundreds of people sent in uh, compact for Martians, compact for Kermit the Frog, compact for uh, oh, and toilet seats. Uh, toilet seats for leprechauns. Uh, commode seat with night vision. Underwater toilet for fish. Um, <laughs> That's good. But it's a little. <laughs> it's a little device to let you stand up an iPod or an iPhone or any small PDA device. Um, I'm looking at some of the answers here. Makeup compact for Gumby. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Portable emergency replacement pothole. <laughs> Low in the dark ink pad. People are really great. I, I love, love this. A practice castanet so as not to disturb your roommate. This is funny because it's sort of like the two sides would can't hit each other. Uh, portable Swiss cheese hole press, portable elevator button. So it's really, it's really great. But it was a little device to hold uh, cell phones and PDAs, and a dozen people did, did get swear. it right. I swear. Yeah. yeah. And then a little further down is the January, February gadget. Oh, I'm sorry, at the top of the page. I put it so that you can see it right away. And that's the January, February game. To win Mad March, March Madness. <laughs> so this so looks what's your to guess? me you were like good. Go ahead. Um, bottled chicken feet, chicken foot wine, <laughs> chicken foot. Wine. Yeah, you know if chicken foot wine is good, but if you send it, you'll need a 3M <laughs> inflator pack. So go to gizwiz.biz. You got a couple of months to uh, solve this one. Now, really, he's solving it's the wrong answer because. Only 12 Mad Magazines go to the right answer. 24 go to people who think up the cutest, funnest, silliest answers. And they're all autographed by that guy right there. Dick D. Bartolo, Mad's maddest writer. 
And someday you can auction those off for four or five dollars yes, yes, each. And make, oh, yeah, you can <laughs> rack up those points. Gizwiz.biz also notes there for every gadget that Dick mentions uh, on the show, and uh, and uh, he keeps that up to date. So there's lots of good gadget stuff there. And, yes. and his pineapple upside down cake recipe. Recipe is there too. Hey, Dick, always a pleasure. Happy New Year. So I'll see you soon. I uh, will. Well, Tuesday do, night. Yeah. So next Saturday, the weekly Daily Gizwiz will be uh, the one Sarah and I do on Tuesday. Right. But I will, uh, I'll stop by for radio if that's okay. Please do. I'll be back home. Yeah, um, I'll be doing the show live the, from the studio the as, as usual. Yeah. But all okay, week long, good. we're covering the Consumer Electronics Show with Dick and our entire crew. We're all going to be down there, and uh, we will do a special Daily Gizwiz at the Showstoppers event Tuesday night. We'll stream that yeah. live as well as put that out as a uh, as a download uh, shortly thereafter. And I'll Perfect. try to get there. I'm having lunch as or dinner, as you know, with Alan Mulally, the CEO of Ford. But I'll get there as quickly as I can afterwards. If you guys are still there, I'll horn in. I'll bug you. Okay, yeah, no, no. But you, I want to. Have you ever done a show with Sarah before? You know what? Um, I I was with Sarah and Tom when they were doing the uh, San Diego Comic Con. Oh, that's right. So the the three of us roamed the uh, the floor for about an hour. Oh, and a half. well, but you've done this before. Very. Then. Oh yeah, very yeah. few fights. You know, it was, it was <laughs> mostly just with open open palms. No, not many. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And a lot of it was off camera. You could just hear things breaking. So she's was, you know, the only thing. You know, the only complaint I have is she really is a hair puller. She likes to pull your hair, and I just I just wish she wouldn't do. Slapping is fine, but please, lots of luck with that. Don't pull I have on the no wig. fears. As long as it's just do. <laughs> Does that include mustache hair? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. No, I and love Pedro. Sarah. You're going to have so much fun. I'm really jealous. I wish I could be there, but uh, I, if I can, I will get there quickly. Okay, great. Dick, thank you so much. Thank you all for joining us. We do this show normally. We do it right after the uh, Tech Guy on Saturday. That's about uh, usually around 2.30 uh, Pacific, 5.30 Eastern time at twit.tv. And you can always get it after the fact. We make audio and video versions available on our website, uh, twit.tv. This week in Twit is coming up in just a little bit. We'll talk about our CES plans and more. Uh, but uh, meanwhile, I'll just have to say uh, thanks, Dick, and I'll see you next time. I'll be here.